Hey everyone, if you have a Subaru Impreza and have the P1086 code, that's the tumble generator valve left hand side, position sensor circuit low voltage. This tutorial is going to show you how to fix that. It's just any regular throttle position sensor that's shown here on the driver's side. The throttle position sensor also used as the tumble generator valve position sensor. So the only parts that you need are real simple. You just need that new throttle position sensor. Uh, I can recommend from Amazon the Wells TPS 4117. I've linked to the Amazon link below in the video description. And then three sockets. You need 7, 10, and 12 millimeter sockets with your wrench. So first, before you do any work on your vehicle, take the negative terminal off on your battery. And then when you get over to the intake manifold, the throttle cable might actually be in the way of your wrenches. And so you just need a 10 millimeter socket to take that bracket out for that throttle cable to open up the space and then push up that throttle cable over your oil cap and that opens up enough room to get to the position sensor. So now you see the position sensor installed. You need a seven millimeter socket to get to those two screws to loosen the throttle position sensor. And you also need to remove this 12 millimeter hard pipe bracket. Otherwise you can't rotate the position sensor to uninstall it. Really you need to rotate it to install it but I'm getting ahead of myself. And so with that bolt out, you can twist the old position sensor up 90 degrees um, and then remove it. And when you put in your new position sensor, you need to preload it. So this is really important. You need to install it with the plug facing up, up to the hood, and then rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. So now it's kind of facing the battery area. You have to preload this sensor, otherwise your car is gonna run really poorly. So install it with the plug facing up, rotate it 90 degrees clockwise so you see it in the orientation here. Then you just need to reinstall those two seven millimeter screws on the top and the bottom. Make sure you put that 12 millimeter bolt back in for the hard line and of course plug in the wiring harness. Uh, don't forget with the area clear, you also can reinstall that throttle cable bracket. That's that 10 millimeter bolt and then put in your negative battery terminal. It's just that easy and hopefully your results will be just like this with your check engine light. <laughs>